I'm going to use this other repository here to show you how you can export some ports. By default, the, the code space will figure out if you're running, say, for example, a web application. Uh, this is a fully configured code spaces that has uh, several different things here. But let's take a look at the dev container, the JSON, and we can how we can forward a port. Uh, it's essentially, what you need to do is use these uh, forward ports, and then you have an, uh, an array or a list of items here. And these are all of the, the ports that you want to be using. Now, whenever you're running a web application, this is not necessarily uh, uh, not, not, not a requirement, rather, because uh, code spaces will figure out that you want to do something uh, something there. So if I open up a terminal, uh, you can see here that there's ports, and I click ports, and you'll see that port 8000 is already uh, forwarded. So that is uh, that is there by default. But if uh, you can see, there's no label. So what happens is that if I run I run a web application and it runs on port 8000, what will happen is that um, you know it will. And you can see here a remote port, uh, localhost port 8000 forward local address, and it has like a domain specific domain where you can access that. There's safety around that because there, no one else can access that unless they're signed in into your account. Like so, essentially, just yourself has access to that. All right. So uh, by default, I'm forwarding 8000. But if I wanted to add like a label, uh, you know, basically so that it doesn't, it, it shows like what exactly that is, I could say uh, ports, uh, ports attributes, and look at that. I, I get this nice auto completion because there's a schema behind it. So in this case, the port 8000 is going to have the label, um, let's call it uh, web app. And uh, on auto forward notify, that's fine. I'm going to save this and um, and I'm going to rebuild the. Uh, I don't know if it's necessary to rebuild the container. Probably will. Let's take a look at ports, uh, local address, origin. Uh, there's no labels. So let's quickly close this out and uh, click rebuild container, rebuild, and um, let's wait a second until that completes and uh, take a look at the the labels if those apply. All right, so these completed. And now um, let's take a look at our labels. So I'm going to open up the terminal. And I'm going to look at my ports. And you can see now that I have a nicely labeled uh, port right there. So let me quickly open up the terminal again. And um, if I run, I believe in this uh, project, we're looking at Ubicorn, which is a, an executable that uh, runs that let me lets me run, lets me run a web application. So I'm going to do that really quickly, uh, web app, uh, main app. And I believe that should work. So immediately I get your application running on port 8000. So if I open uh, on a browser, uh, that will load. It will take just a second. There's an internal server error because this wasn't. Uh, uh, this has a problem with the index.html. But uh, you could see that immediately uh, that was. Uh, now this is green. It wasn't green before. It means that there's something running, uh, running right there. If I go back to the terminal and X out of that. Um, Web, web app port 8000 doesn't have that green. It means that the port is not active, is not forwarded. So uh, let's see, We uh, a, a quick recap. We added uh, the port 8000 was already there. Forward ports is how you add that. Uh, and you can see here that we get like a really nice, uh, a really nice um, uh, help menu there, ports that are forward from the container to the local machine. You can add there as many. You are not 100% required to do these, however, because those can happen automatically. But if you want to ensure that those ports are always forwarded and then you want to you want to do this uh, nice uh, map in there, you can 100% uh, sure do do that. And you even you can even have a uh, look at these uh, ranges for auto forward and then do that as well. But the labels I really like because it gives you the ability to understand what is going on with those ports.